Hey everyone, Ray Solville, RaySolville.com. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you into Facebook Business Manager, and Facebook Business Manager is sort of a shell of accounts that allows you to share all of your assets with a bunch of other people externally, but you'll definitely want a Business Manager account if you do not have one set up. So, I highly recommend you check out the description down below. It'll There will be different timestamps throughout the video if you need to jump around pretty easily. So, let's dive right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do to create your Facebook Business Manager account is head over to business.facebook.com. Link will be down below in the description, and this is where you go to create your account. Now, it's pretty straightforward. If you've never been to this type of site before, you literally just click on Create Account on business.facebook.com, and you name your account. Now, I just have a fake name in here for now because this is a dummy account, so I'm just going to call this Test Business Manager and then I'll name this Test Business Manager as well. So um, all you have to do is click on Create Account, give it your legitimate information, and then go through the steps here. Um, I'll just do one of my emails here. And then you just need to start giving it all of your information. So I'm gonna skip through this part right here, but make sure you give it your country, your street address, and all of your information, and especially your website if you have it. All right, so once you give Facebook all of your information, you'll notice that your screen will look somewhat like this, and then you start to you need to start to give Facebook some information to validate your business, so make sure you go to your business settings, and then this is kind of going to be your hub of sorts for Facebook. Um, you're gonna notice that you're going to be on this screen a ton, especially early on, because you're going to want to add things like your pages, your ad accounts, your apps if you have them. But most importantly, you're gonna mosey on down to this data source section and add things like your pixels and your catalog and all that sort of stuff. So that's how you make the account. It's super straightforward. There's really nothing crazy here at all. So you just give it your business information, your personal information, you confirm your email address, and then you'll get to this hub of information here. And I'm gonna show you what a finished Facebook manager looks like, but really creating the account is ridiculously easy. So all you wanna do is head to business.facebook.com, create that account, and then you get pretty much into the screen like this right here, which is ridiculously easy. So once you finish creating your business manager account, you're going to want to add your pages and your ad account if you're running ads at this time, along with your Facebook pixel. Now, if you do not have a Facebook pixel, I'll have a link somewhere on the screen on how to create the Facebook pixel. It honestly takes less than five minutes and getting that pixel onto your website is going to allow you to gather information about the users that are visiting your website. Highly, highly, highly recommend it because you're, vis you're missing out on valuable information about your consumers or, or the people that visit your site. So really set that up. It takes just a few moments to do so. But you're going to want to add your pages, your ad account, and your pixel right away. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is my actual business manager account. And you can see if I go to the pages section, I have like a random Facebook page that I had in the past where I was trying to create a blog. I don't have a current Facebook page right now, which is fine. Um, but you're going to see that I do have in my data source section here, um, a couple of pixels. So I have a test pixel and then here's the actual pixel that's on my website. But um, in order to add page information to your website, if you go to business settings and then pages, you can go to add and then you can either create a page from scratch. So if you go to create a new page or you can request access to a page or you can claim a page that you own already on your Facebook profile. So if you have a coffee shop already that was created on your personal Facebook page, you can then claim that page as long as you're already the admin of that page. So that's the major difference between this. If, if you're an agency, you're almost always going to either request access to a page or go through the partner section. I'll have a further video down the line on how to kind of do some of those settings. Let me know down below in the comments if that's the type of video that you would find helpful. But um, you're almost gonna always want to create a new page if you don't have one or add a page and claim it if you already own it. Same thing goes for the ad account. So once you go to ad account here, you can go to add and then you can add an ad account that you already have access to. So again, claiming it or you can request access to it as well. So very straightforward. Um, and then that pretty much goes for everything else on here as well. If you have an app, you can do the same exact thing. So you can add it. You might need like API information. Um, same thing with Instagram's accounts. Um, catalogs are really important if you're an e-commerce store. And let's say you have like a Shopify store. 
you're able to take all of the feed information, upload that into Facebook Business Manager, and then start to target catalog information. So you can get down to the SKU level, all sorts of stuff there. Um, pixels though are where it's at. So I highly recommend you create that pixel like right now, if you haven't already, so pause this video and uh, go check out that other video on the screen on how to create the Facebook pixel. But essentially, if you add a Facebook pixel, you can connect to it or you can just create a new pixel from scratch. So if you click add on this screen right here for the pixel section, you're going to make a new Facebook pixel from scratch. And the way you would actually request access to another pixel is in this partner section. But um, make sure you check out that video and you create that pixel right now. I'm like, go do it right now. What are you waiting for? Go do it. Um, and then the last thing you're really going to have to know for Business Manager is granting access to other people to your assets, for example. So on the way top of your screen here in the upper left, you're going to notice people and partners. So if you go to people, you're going to be in here by default and you're going to be a super admin. But let's say you want to add an employee or family member to your account. All you have to do is click add, type in their email address, and then grant the access level that you want to give them. Now. If this is a trusted person that you don't really care what level of access they have, just give them admin access. It's nothing crazy really that, that can happen. I mean, obviously they have admin levels so they can change stuff around, but if you trust this person, you're fine. Otherwise, you can give them you know, information to just the reporting or just to the billing. So you can get down to the nitty gritty here, but for <laughs> if you're trusting these people and they're in your accounts and they have access to this anyways, admin access is the way to go. Um, the next piece is partners, and I'm gonna go into this in further depth in a later video, but essentially what partners allow you to do is if you have a partner account, I can share all of my assets. So I can share my pages, my ad accounts, my apps, pixels, everything, all in one share and in one spot. So if I'm working with an agency or if I'm working with another partner and if, and if I wanna grant them access to everything that I have, you would go to this partner section here um, add a partner, so their email address, so I would need their business manager ID, which is found in the business info section, again, later video down the line, but then you can share all that information externally with other people. So really, really powerful things that you can do here in business manager and Facebook, not gonna lie that they don't make it easy for you, but if you know where to go inside business manager, it's a breeze, it's, it's, not, it's not crazy once you've done it a couple times now. I will say this information has changed several times um, over the past six months to a year. So Facebook keeps you on your toes and you have to be pretty agile here. So keep that in mind for sure. Um, but for Facebook Business Manager, those are the high level things. So if you take a look at the people and partners section, and then if you add your current Facebook page, your ad accounts and your pixel, you're gonna be in a pretty good spot. So. Those are going to be the main things you're going to want to do right away when you claim a Facebook Business Manager account. And that's about it for Facebook Business Manager creation. There is a lot that goes into it and there's a lot more, but at a high level, if you can do those you know, top three or four things right away, you're going to be in a pretty good spot and other people will be able to help you. I highly recommend, just like on Google, if you go over to their support section, they do have a pretty good support section and you can also reach out to their reps as well if you need assistance. But if, I'll have a link down in the description, but this page is also pretty helpful. It tells you the benefits of Business Manager, obviously. Um, but it takes you through a lot of these steps in text format if you're trying to go that route. So if you need help, definitely make sure to go here and um, this actual like more help for you section I find very helpful. It allows you to look at the top topics on the page and it sorts it by views and it tells you how to add people. Like we just went through that. It tells you about verifying your business, which is going to be a really important thing as you start to go through Facebook Business Manager. So um, if I missed anything, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'm also on Twitter at Ray Sawbell. Links all down below in the description, but I hope you found this video helpful. If not, let me know and I'll definitely be able to help out. Thanks, see ya.